Woman is not your mother. Stop lying to us, Dad. We don't believe you. We all just want to know the truth, Dad. It's wrong. It's gone. And it's probably at his no. office. No. You need to find a way to get it back from him. I hope you brought that seeding document that my son signed, as I asked of you. Do you have it? I am the lady of this house. No, forgive me. You were. Not anymore. No, 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 no. Don't touch me. What's wrong, Mom? It's Calm down. my baby. Give it Log on to the KBC website at www.kbc.co.ke to get the latest breaking news, entertainment, sports, politics, lifestyle or business trends from Kenya and around the world. Never miss new episodes from your favorite TV shows, reruns and movies. Just stream online or watch live on your YouTube channel at KBC Channel 1 TV shows for the day's biggest stories. Trust with the news and family entertainment. Log on to KBC Channel 1. Watch what you want anytime, anywhere. On the edge, so take this knowledge that I spit and keep it right in your head. I am having a multi talented artist. Cause you're one of a kind, one hard to find. But you never know, you always grow my mind. Finally, Actually, finally, we need a Finally, you're on this show. Defenders Coalition event was held at the Allianz from St. Nairobi as rather an obvious choice for some. See, for me, the people you're celebrating today are the people you have. For the freedoms of this country. Somebody call the liar. Shine your head, it's a crown. Don't let nobody ever put you down. We're used to him just being, you know, up we go behind the scenes like he a guitar. Now, guess what? He can actually sing. Jumbura girl, love that night of boy. She taught him how to make my talk. Put my soul up on this beat, put my life on the edge So take this knowledge that I spit and keep it right in your head If you committed to your craft, stop living in your past The Amazons Woman is not your mother Stop lying to us, Dad, we don't believe you We all just want to know the truth, Dad It's wrong It's gone, and it's probably at his no. office no. You need to find a way to get it back from him. I hope you brought that seeding document that my son signed, as I asked of you. Do you have it? I am the lady of this house. No, forgive me. You were. Not anymore. No, 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 no. Don't touch me. What's wrong, right, Mom? Calm down. My baby. Story to share with KBC? Get in touch swiftly on email newsroom at kbc.co.ke. Call 0723 892 654 or 0734 780124. Kenya Defense Forces, KDF, announces the recruitment of General Service Officers, GSO Cadets, Specialist Officers, General Duty Recruits, Tradesmen and Women, and Constables scheduled for the month of November 2021. 
Listen to Radio Taifa during the entire month of November 2021 for details of the recruitment process. Then grab your local newspaper, The Daily Nation, on the 31st of October and 7th of November. The Star on the 5th of November, while The Standard will have those details on the 27th of October, 14th of November and 9th of November on my gov inside The Standard newspaper. The People's Daily on the 8th of November and 12th of November. Remember, no one can influence the recruitment process because bribery and other acts of corruption are against the law. Report any suspicious activities or characters to the nearest police station or military camp or call hotline numbers 0726419709 or 0120300599. KDF recruitment is absolutely free to all. mpenzi mtazamaji karibu kwenye darubini ya channel 1 leki siku ya kwanza ya mwezi wa 11 ni tarehe mosi mwezi wa novemba mwaka moja. kweli kabisa hii ni darubini ya kwanza kabisa ya novemba kama alivyosema sarafina tuna taarifa kemkem na kuna mmoja ambayo ni mbaya sana mwanamke mm-hmm. mmoja akatwa mkono na mume wake kufuatia ugomvi wa nyumbani ambao unaonekana kuzidi sana. Kwa nini mambo haya yanaendelea? Tutakuwa tunaangalia kwa kina kabisa katika taarifa zetu. Bila shaka mtazamaji lakini kwa sasa tupate vidokezo. Niko na uchungu. Ukate mtoto wa mtu hivyo. Hey amefanya kitendo ambao sijawahi kuwa na kukata mikono mwanamke wa umri wa miaka 22 akatoa mikono na mume kufuatia ugomvi busia wimbi la mageuzi la nokia chamani jubili mkutano wa jumbo kisubiriwa mwishoni mwa mwezi huu na Shule za upili za buruburu na leteni za fungwa kutokana na visa vya moto. mtangazaji wetu wa ishara ni Susan na Dhuku nami naitwa Boni Musambi. Bila shaka mtazamaji nami naitwa Sarafina Robi. Na mwishoni mwa darubini kama ilivyo ada nitakuwa nakuletea utafiti. Lakini tuanze na taarifa ambayo inaatua moyo kiasi na ni kwamba mwanamke wa umri wa miaka 22 katika eneo la Bulinda kaunti ya Busia anauguza majeraha mabaya katika hospitali ya matibabu maalum ya Busia baada ya mumewe kumkata mikono au mkono kufuatia ugomvi wa nyumbani. Na mshukiwa huyo hajakamatwa huko familia ya mwathiriwa ikiomba haki itendeke. Mwanzi nimeenda huko mbele kutafuta sawa. Afta kutafuta ilikuwa afueni kwa wazazi waliona wana Hospitali ya Busia Referral 
mwanamke mwenye umri wa miaka 22 anastahimili uchungu baada ya kushambuliwa na mumewe ambaye anasemekana kumkata mikono nilipata mtoto wangu akiwa chini nilienda nikidhani ya kwamba ameshaaga lakini nilimpata nili kuwa naona lakini fahamu imepotea mkono imekatwa umeanguka huko mkono mwingine umekatwa mara mbili ikakatika lakini ngozi ikashika tu niko na uchungu ukate mtoto wa mtu hivyo hey amefanya kitendo ambao sijawahi kuona kukata mikono na ianguke chini ukate mapacha ukate mkono hii mara mbili mara tatu hapana nimeona mchungu baba familia hiyo imewachwa na maswali kuhusiana na nia ya shambulizi hilo huku ikisema kuwa Janet aliondoka mahala alipokuwa ameolewa siku chache zilizopita kutokana na mzozo wa kinyumbani kwa hizo mzozo zote nimekuwa nikihusika kuzulisha kisa sajana nikapigiwa simu huyu amemkata nikaeleza kuliko kupiga nduru mfanye bidimu mleto hospitali alafu tuone chenye tunakuwa tunafuatilia polisi wameanzisha msako dhidi ya mshukiwa huku familia ya mwathiriwa ikiomba kuwa haki itendeke atafutwe ana aniambie kiini kosa kubwa ambao mtoto wangu alikosa akuja mfanyie kitendo kama hiko na sisi tulikuwa tunaomba serikali na polisi kwa jumla huyu mtu ya Conran anaweza rudi kufanya mambo madhara kwa hiyo boma hata wale watoto wenye wamebaki wako hatarini kisa hicho kinajiri siku chache kabla ya kuanza kwa siku 16 za wanaharakati dhidi ya dhulma za kijinsia huku mito ikitolewa kudhibitiwa kwa dhulma hizo nikiripotia darubini naitwa Safin Acheng Oma tunakemea kabisa huu ni ukatili wa hali ya juu. Uh-huh. Taarifa zaidi sasa upande wa siasa ni kwamba chama cha Jubilee kitandaa mkutano wa wajumbe wake mwishoni mwa mwezi huu ambapo wanatarajiwa kuidhinisha mabadiliko kadhaa. Kama tiko ya kitaifa ya chama cha Jubilee ikishirikisha maafisa, maafisi kuu na viongozi wa chama hicho bungeni walikutana leo kuweka mikakati ya mkutano huo. Wajumbe wake mwishoni mwa mwezi huu kujadili mikakati ya kujiimarisha kabla ya uchaguzi mkuu ujao. We really wanted to have the elections uh, in 2020. Uh, we were ready, we were prepared. Indeed, we were only delayed by the requirements that were made to us by the registered political parties. This being a very litigious uh, country, if we did it without adhering to the requirements of the registered political parties then those elections would be declared null and void. Na hata ingawa chama hicho kinadai hakijaandaa agenda za mkutano huo, Katibu Mkuu Rafael Tuju amepuzi ile mbali migawanyiko chamani na kueleza imani kwamba bado atakuwa afisini wakati chama hicho kitakaposhiriki kwenye kinyang'anyiro cha uchaguzi wa mwaka ujao kuwania nyadhifa mbalimbali. I would be extremely worried if I didn't have critics. I would be extremely worried if we went into the office upstairs and we didn't have robust debates. That is what democracy is all about and I can tell you that as we were in the offices upstairs uh, we, we we did not agree on every subject which was on put on the table for discussion and for debate that is in the constitution that is actually in the constitution i think it should just concern you as much as it should concern as it should concern and I'm sure it concerns all the I'm sure it concerns you Tuju alifichwa kwamba mazungumzo yanaendelea kutafuta mstakabali wa muungano kati ya vyama vya Jubilee na ODM kabla ya uchaguzi mkuu jao. Our discussions with the ODM are ongoing. Are there discussions which have been done at our level and there are discussions which are which are done at the level of the the two party leaders. Uh, it is beyond my pay grade to divulge to you anything which has come up at the level of the two party leaders. John Jacob Kyoria Darubini Wabunge wanaomuunga mkono na Ibrais William Ruto wanaomba wa Kenya kuwakataa viongozi ambao watawekewa kuwaongoza. Wakizungumza katika kaunti ya Nyamira wakiwa wameandamana na Naibu Rais, wabunge hao walisema uamuzi wa nani atakayekuwa rais wa nchi hii uko mikononi mwa wapiga kura. <tos> Sense, sense, sense. Sense, sense, sense.
taarifa hiyo inatukamilisha mambo ya kwanza ya darubini ya channel 1 eh, kweli kabisa sasa tunapumua tu kidogo kisha turejee na taarifa zaidi Go to the KBC website at www.kbc.co.ke to get the latest breaking news, entertainment, Novuniku. sports, Mareo. politics, lifestyle or business trends from Kenya and around the world. Never miss new episodes from your favorite TV shows, reruns and movies. Just stream online or watch live on your YouTube channel at KBC Channel 1 TV shows for the day's biggest stories. Trust with the news and family entertainment. Log on to KBC Channel 1. Watch what you want anytime, anywhere. Zikiwa zimesilia takriban siku tatu kabla Na mtazamaji unaendelea kutazama darubini ya Channel 1. Kumbuka pia unaweza kutupata pale Facebook na Twitter at KBC Channel 1 at Boni Musambi na at Sarafin underscore Robi. Tukiendelea ni kwa shule ya wasichana ya Buruburu jijini Nairobi na shule ya upili ya Litain katika kaunti ya Kericho zimefungwa kwa muda usiojulikana. Buruburu imefungwa siku moja baada ya kisa cha moto kuacha wanafunzi wengi wakiuguza majeraha huko shule ya upili ya Litain ikifungwa bado wanafunzi kuandamana kulalamikia usimamizi wake. Na kama Zainab Sai anaboripoti walimu wakuu wameagiza kudhibiti aina yote ya utovu wa nidhamu ili kuepusha hali ya machafuko zaidi shuleni. Mwanzi nimeenda huko mbele kutafuta sawa. Afta kutafuta 
ilikuwa afueni kwa wazazi walio na wanafunzi katika shule ya upili ya wasichana ya Buruburu iliyokumbwa na kisa cha moto hapo jana jioni baada ya kuruhusiwa kuingia na kuwachukua binti zao kwanza tuwachukua wanafunzi wetu waweze ku kumane jile shock alafu tutaitwa mkutano na tutaambiwa ni lini watarudi hata sasa hatujui ni lini watarudi ili kwanza tuweze waweze kupata afueni kisha tuweze kurudi na kuzungumza na kuingia kwa kina kwa ajili ya mambo ambayo yameweza kutokea kulingana na wasimamizi shule hiyo ya wasichana ya Buruburu imefungwa kwa siku chache ili kutoa fursa ya uchunguzi kuhusu tukio hilo la moto kufanyika but i want to tell you dear parents right now we are worried about one thing the insecurity that has already come into the school because we have already encountered very many young people drunk people yes they are here i can assure you they are here and we also don't know who is who and that is why we are appealing to you parents you are our parents please cooperate with us Hadi sasa wasichana 16 wangali wamelazwa katika hospitali ya Metropolitan huku wengine 16 wakiwa katika hospitali ya jamaa. Katika kaunti ya Kericho shule ya upili ya Liten pia imefungwa baada ya wanafunzi kuzua fujo Jumapili usiku wakilalamikia hali ya usimamizi wa shule hiyo. Vurugu hizo zilisababisha vioo vya madirisha kuvunjwa miongoni mwa uharibifu mwingine. Katika kaunti ya Muranga shule tisa zimeripoti migomo. Huku kamishna wa kaunti hiyo Fredrick Ndunga akitoa wito kwa wakuu wa shule kufuatilia na kuripoti kisa chochote cha utovu wa nidhamu. Kama ni kufukuza mwanafunzi kuna vile kanuni zinasema. Kama ni kumnidhamisha mwanafunzi yeyote kwa njia yeyote, kuna kanuni vile zinasema. Na tufuate hizo kanuni. Na wale wanafunzi ambao tayari wame wameonekana waziwazi ni wakorofi. Tutawachukulia hatua madhubuti. Aidha mwaigiza wasimamizi wote wa shule kuweka kamera za CCTV katika shule zao. Nuga pia alisema kuwa matumizi ya dawa za kulevya miongoni mwa baadhi ya wanafunzi yanachangia machafuko na uharibifu wa mali ya shule. Zainab Said Darubini. Wa Kenya wana muda hadi kesho jioni kujisajili kwa wapiga kura. Kufikia sasa ni wapiga kura wapya milioni moja nukta moja waliosajiliwa kati ya wale milioni sita nukta tano waliolengwa. Shughuli ya kitaifa ya kusajili wapiga kura wapya itakamilika kesho jioni hata ingawa usajili kwenye maeneo bunge bado utaendelea. Upo uwezekano kwamba tume ya uchaguzi humo nchini haitafikia lengo lake la kusajili wapiga kura wapya milioni 4.5 wakati shughuli hiyo ya siku 30 itakapokamilika. Wapiga kura wapya milioni moja nukta mbili walisajiliwa wakati wa shughuli hiyo huku miito ya kuongezwa kwa muda wa usajili ikisheheni. Kwa sasa tunaona idadi iko chini bado. Na tunaomba serikali kwamba hiyo uh, muda ambao umetupea ni kidogo sana. So tunaomba serikali itusaidie muda kidogo wasongeshe hiyo muda ili tupate vijana wajandikishe na kila mtu yule ambaye ajijandikisha kama mpikaji kura. Viongozi wanaendelea kuwa rai wa Kenya kujiandikisha. Tejira tuko naye ni vijana wetu watoke na hiyo mambo alikuwa naye rohoni waachane naye tuchukue kura ndio hesabu yetu ikuage mingi vile inakuwaga kawaida. Hata hivyo tume ya uchaguzi imesisitiza kwamba muda wa shughuli ya kitaifa ya kusajili wapiga kura wapya hautaongezwa. Jacqueline Masharia Darubini Kwingine kwa mtazamaji ni kuwa kiwango cha maambukizi ya ugonjwa COVID-19 humo nchini kimeshuka hadi asilimia sufuri nukta nane. Hii ni baada ya watu 29 kudhibitishwa kuambukizwa ugonjwa huo kutokana ama kutoka kwa sampuli 3314 zilizopimwa katika muda wa saa 24 zilizopita. Jumla ya visa vya ugonjwa huo vilivyonakiliwa humo nchini kufikia sasa ni 2053 39 kutoka kwa jumla ya sampuli ya zaidi ya milioni mbili nukta saba zilizopimwa. Haya ni kwa mujibu wa takwimu za Wizara ya Afya. 
Uh, hakuna vifo vinavyonakiliwa katika muda wa saa 24 zilizopita na kufikia jana dozi ya milioni 5.3 za chanjo dhidi ya ugonjwa huo zilikuwa zimetolewa kwa wakenya wote nchini wakati wa takwimu za chuo kikuu cha John Hopkins zinaashiria kwamba jumla ya watu milioni 246.5 wameambukizwa ugonjwa huo ulimwenguni huku zaidi ya milioni 4.99 wakiaga dunia ni kuwa mahakama ya rufaa imesimamisha uamuzi wa mahakama kuu ambao ulikuwa ukimwagiza rais Uhuru Kenyatta kuwateua majaji sita ambao majina yao yaliondolewa katika orodha iliyowasilishwa kwake ya majina 41 na tume ya kuajiri wa hudumu wa idara ya mahakama mahakama kuu ilikuwa imempa rais 14 kuwateua majaji hao awichukuliwe kuwa majaji hao wametauliwa kirasmi baada ya kukamilika kwa muda uliotolewa kwa uteuzi huo rais kupitia kwa mwanasheria mkuu amepinga uamuzi huo na kudai kuwa unaweza kusababisha mzozo wa kikatiba Zikiwa zimesalia takriban siku tatu kabla ya kukamilika kwa makataa ya siku 14 iliyotolewa na mahakama kuu kwa Rais Uhuru Kenyatta kuwateua majaji sita waliosalia mahakama ya rufaa imetoa maagizo ya muda ya kudumisha hatua hiyo ya rais hapo awali mahakama kuu ilikuwa imetoa maagizo kuwa iwapo rais angekosa kuwatewa majaji hao sita katika muda siku 14 ingechukuliwa kuwa muda wa mamlaka yake umekwisha na kuchukuliwa kuwa majaji hao sita wameteuliwa kupitia kwa mwakili wao rais Uhuru Kenyatta na mwanasheria mkuu walidai kuwa iwapo uamuzi huo utatekelezwa utasababisha mzozo wa kikatiba na kuzua mzozo baina ya afisi ya jiji mkuu na afisi ya rais Majaji Rosli Nambuye, Lebuta na Wanjiru Karanja sasa wameagiza kuwa uamuzi huo usimamishwe hadi tarehe 19 mwezi huu ambapo watatoa uamuzi wa mwisho. Wakati huo raia mmoja Sean Ahmed Norani amewasilisha ombi la kutaka kuondolewa kwa mkurugenzi mkuu wa mashtaka ya umma. Reason why Mr. Nudin Haji has refused to take any criminal step or to take any action against Mr. Ratilal is because of the relationship between one of his former colleagues or directors or deputy directors and himself we shall be moving to the director of criminal investigation to record statements and we shall expect the director of public prosecution to summon one Rudin Haji not as the DPP but as the person who made the utterances threatening people threatening my client and everybody else that he himself is a war veteran Nurani anadai kuwa mkurugenzi huyo wa mashtaka ya umma anapaswa kuondolewa ofisini kwa kutumia vibaya mamlaka kudhihirisha mienendo sio faa miongoni mwa masala mengine Sarafina leo na kesho nitakuwa na kueleza sheria za maajabu duniani uh-huh. ili kwamba utakaposafiri kwenda kule siku moja au mtazamaji anakapofanya hivyo uh-huh. angalau <laughs> ujue sheria huko zinasema nini kuna sheria moja ya maajabu sana kule nchini Australia usicheze mbali ili nikufahamishe pale mwishoni mwa darubini kwa sasa pumziko fupi niko na uchungu
mtazamaji kwenye safu ya biashara ni kwa mipango inendelea ya kuunganisha kawi ya mvuke kutoka mradi wa Baringo Silali ukoa wa ya kwanza ya mradi huu ikitarajiwa kuzalisha megawati moja za kawi. Mhandisi wa kampuni ya ustawishaji kawi ya mvuke Stephen Kagongo amesema kwa sasa kampuni hiyo inazalisha megawati sita za kawi katika maeneo ya Paka na Korosi. Mnamo mwaka 2018 kampuni ya ustawishaji kawi ya miale ya jua ilipokea ruzuku ya shilingi bilioni moja nukte tisa kufadhili mradi wa uzalishaji kawi wa Baringo Silali ulioko kaskazini mwa nchi fedha hizo kutoka hazina ya usimamizi wa kawi ya miale ya jua zinanuia kuimarisha uzalishaji kawi wa miale ya jua katika kanda ya Afrika Mashariki Mradi wa Baringo Silali una uwezo wa kuzalisha megawati elfu tatu za kawi. Mhandisi wa kampuni hiyo Steven Kagongo amesema awamu ya kwanza inatarajiwa kuzalisha megawati na tisa kutoka maeneo ya Paka, Korosi na Silali. Kufikia sasa kampuni hiyo imechimba visima saba kati ya kumi katika maeneo ya Paka na Korosi. We have only started drilling the two, pro, two projects that is Korosi, Korosi we have done three wells. Uh, and Pakaia we have done uh, four wells and we are currently drilling the fifth and the sixth well. Kagongo alisema visima vitatu kati ya vile vilivyochimba vina uwezo wa kuzalisha megawati tisa za kawi ili hali kingine kinazalisha megawati kumi na saba. We are successful the way we are with this well of 17 megawatts we will need about 10 wells then we have we have achieved the 100 megawatts. Pindi uchibanji visima utakapokamilika ujenzi wa kiwanda cha umeme utaanza mara moja. Probably in the next two or three years we should be uh, starting to we we'll have completed drilling then now we'll be able to design the power plant. Karibu sasa tujito senyu gani kama kawaida wengi wanita Karanja David ama ukipenda KD Afisa mtendaji wa shirikisho la soko mo nchini Bari Otieno ameitaka wizara ya michezo kuhakikisha kuwa anatoa matokeo ya kukuaminika na ya ukweli bado kukamilika kukaguzi unaoendelea akizungumza na afisa za FKF Otieno pia alisema kuwa taarifa zote walizowasilisha ni za kweli na vile vile wazi Ilikuwa ni siku ya pili katika afisi kuu za shirikisho la soka huko nchini ambapo wakaguzi walifika kuendeleza na majukumu yao ya ukaguzi baada ya kupewa kipaumbele na Wizara ya Michezo kutokana na madai ya ubadhirifu wa mali kwenye shirikisho hilo. Ni shughuli iliyochukua takriban masaa manne kukamilika na baada ya kuondoka afisa mtendaji wa shirikisho la soka huko nchini Bariotieno alipata nafasi ya kuzungumza nasi. We've done our part, we'll continue to do our part. Uh, even after this uh, just for the record and, and, and for every Kenyan to know is that uh, consistently and as required by the 2030 sports act is normally we have done budgets to government in good time uh, for all the money that we have been funded then we have filed returns Bali Otieno alitaka wizara ya michezo kuhakikisha kuwa wanatoa matokeo ya kuaminika na ya ukweli baada ya kumaliza ukaguzi huo pia akisema kuwa uchunguzi wa haraka utaweza kunusuru soka huko nchini I do not think that it's in the interest of the government or the minister to have Kenya Band. I want to believe that this inspection was uh, directed uh, with utmost good faith with an objective to improve uh, in certain areas if any. Uh, having said that is that FIFA are also clear on third party interference. Aliongeza kuwa tayari wamewasilisha staka baadhi zote ambazo walitakiwa kuwasilisha kwa wizara hiyo na taarifa zote walizowasilisha ni za kweli na wazi. Kwa sasa shirikisho hilo linangoja siku ya kesho kujua mwelekeo utakaochukuliwa na wizara ya michezo. Daniel Mwendwa, Darubini Michezo. Kamati ya michezo olimpiku mchini Nok Leo iliandaa kikao kikuu hapa jijini Nairobi. Kikao hicho kiliandaliwa ili kujadiliana na mashirikisho ya michezo huko nchini kuhusu mbinu kubuni bodi ya uchaguzi tukaandaa uchaguzi wa kamati ya NOC hapa nchini. 
Kikao cha leo kilichokuwa cha pili na cha dharura kilinuia kuwafahamisha wanachama kuhusu hali ya uchaguzi ujao wa kamati ya NOC uteuzi wa bodi mpya umecheleweshwa huku kamati ya uchaguzi umu nchini IBC kwa sasa ikiangazia kuandikisha wa Kenya watakaopiga kura katika uchaguzi wa taifa utakaoandaliwa mwaka ujao What we really need is that uh, as we we are changing the narrative that uh, everyone then when every election which it comes should not be a cut road should be a way of trying to once it's done we move together as a team so i'm talking about as we are closing here today as we move forward in terms of uh, campaigning and all that let us do it in a more civil way so that uh, we can be more, we are all friends and we are all leaders also on our own way Wanachama wamekubaliana kuwa shirika la utawala litaandaa uchaguzi huo huku likisaidiwa na wasibu wa umo walioidhinishwa humu nchini. To propose to this general assembly the center for corporate governance that affects the elections of the knock elections scheduled for uh, tentatively 25th but as we have earlier said uh, we allow for the kamkunji which probably will be on 5th which can be able to set that date according to the schedule of the electoral congress and therefore wish to present that for ratification to the general assembly aidha mkutano wa pili utatangazwa mwezi huu na utatumika kukubaliana tarehe ambayo uchaguzi utaandaliwa mashirikisho hayo yaliwakilishwa na vinara wao na vile vile katibu wa kuu huku pia wasimamizi waliochaguliwa na mashirikisho usika wakihudhuria aidha wanachama watendaji wa bodi ya NOC pia walihudhuria kikao hicho Tukisonga mbele ni kwamba kocha wa timu ya taifa ya soka Harambe Stars Engine Firat amekitaja kikosi cha muda cha wachezaji saba kabla ya michuano ya kufuzu kwa kombe la dunia mwaka 2022 dhidi ya Uganda Cranes na Mavubi ya Rwanda. Firat amewajumuisha kwa mara ya kwanza kikosini wachezaji Wilkins Ocheng, mwenye makao yake nchini Ubelgiji na mchezaji wa Nairobi City Stars Timothy Auma. Michael Mutinda, Philomena Tieno, Anthony Akumu na Eric Johana wamerejeshwa kikosini. Nahodha Michael Olunga, Masud Juma na Ismail Dunga wataongoza safu ya ushambulizi ya Rambi Stars. Stars itaanza kambi ya mazoezi tarehe sita Novemba jijini Nairobi. Kenya itachuana na Uganda tarehe moja Novemba katika uwanja wa St Mary's Kitende kisha ikabiliane na Rwanda tarehe tano Novemba katika uwanja wa Taifa wa Nyayo. Daniel Mwendwa, Darubini Michezo. Tazamaje kufikia hapo na kamilisha Darubini Michezo. Sasa nampisha Boni Musambi. Kitamu liko namuita kijana mtol na utafiti wa siku ya leo. Kama kawaida wengi wanaita Karanja David na mkipenda KD. Kwaheri. Asante Karanja David kwa kufichua jina langu la redioni kule. Sasa leo kwenye utafiti nitakupeleka nchini Australia. Amini usiamini kwa mujibu wa farandwide.com. Nchini Australia huruhusiwi kusimamisha harusi ikiendelea. Hata mchungaji akisema kama kuna mtu anapinga hii doa ajitokeze na inue mkono bwana siwe sana. Hata akisema hivyo yani kwa kimombo hawezi kusema bwana siwe sana kule. Sasa akisema na uinue mkono na usimamishe harusi nchini Australia unapigwa faini ya shilingi milioni moja pesa taslim sasa unaruhusiwa kuongea lakini usiongee wakati harusi inaendelea unasikia hapo sarafina atifanya <laughs> shingafi <laughs> milioni moja kwa kusimamisha harusi uh-huh. <laughs> hairuhusiwi iletwe kenya hairuhusiwi <laughs> iletwe <laughs> iletwe <laughs> oh, eh? ndio harusi ziendelee bila tashwish bila tashwish hadi familike lakini sasa <laughs> ajabu ni kwamba wahubiri kule uh-huh. wanauliza hilo swali mbona wanauliza nani ambaye anapinga harusi hii hizo pesa zikitolewa zendapi mnajamaza uh-huh. kwa sababu amwezi ongeo kiongeo utakatwa milioni moja swali la nini hilo sasa uh-huh. si ndio ah, mtu akitoza sasa hiyo hmm. milioni moja yenda wapi kwa serikali Aha. Kwa sababu ni Basi ileto. <laughs> Tumefika mwisho kwa leo. Tunashukuru sana. Tunaomba uungana nasi tena hapo kesho panapo majaliwa yake Mwenyezi Mungu naitwa Boni Musambi. Nami mtazamaji naitwa Sarafina Robi mwenzetu ishara imekuwa ni Lensa Odingo kuwa na usiku mwanana.
Susan Tuku. 